Stephen Jones, the Director of Partner Development at AP Logic, and I also have Ken Vihill, um, who, who is our Head Architect. Just to give a quick background on AP Logic, uh, we build custom web and mobile applications with intuitive interfaces that integrate with other systems and databases. So we make complex information simple for public-facing metric-driven websites as well as back-office dashboards and portals which reduce overhead. Um, today we will be demoing our B2B e-commerce system that integrates with Dynamic, Dynamics GP and AX. Your customers will purchase more, um, they will need less hand-holding, and it will take less management on your end uh, once this e-commerce system is implemented and integrated with your GP. Uh, essentially our product helps you increase sales and decrease overhead. And it does that in two ways. First, it is unique to you. We understand that every company is different with specific processes and a specific GP implementation. So our product is built modularly to accommodate how your data is structured in your database. So that it doesn't need to be fully re-engineered or customized to fit you, rather we tailor it like a suit. Uh, second, it is unique to your customer. Your buyers are different than other buyers and they need to be treated as such. Our system is not template-based. What it is is that we've, we've basically streamlined the design process to be able to um, do simple design changes to it or redesign the entire thing depending on your needs. Ultimately, what we want to accomplish is an increase in sales. Um, so we figure out how to do that by understanding your user and how to communicate to them and what their needs are. And that's it. Now I'm going to turn it over to Ken, who's going to explain um, the background of it, um, what it essentially does, and walk you through the system. OK, thanks, Steve. So basically, just to give you guys a brief overview of what the system is, um, you can see it's really two, two components. There's the front-end website that you can see here. We'll be going through that. Um, and that links up to Dynamics GP or Dynamics AX on the back end. Um, I'm not going to be going into detail about all of its functions. I'm just going to be giving you a brief overview of how it works. Um, you can see really the first thing about it um, that you might be interested in is its mobile abilities. This was built from the ground up to be mobile friendly. Um, you can see that basically as we drag the browser down, it simply goes into um, mobile modes. It does this very easily. Each interface in the entire system is mobile friendly. Um, so you can see it was built from the ground up to do that. Um, nowadays, with Google penalizing sites that don't have mobile-friendly features, um, this is a very big one. A lot of websites, people are converting them over. This one was built from the ground up to do that. Um, one of the other things you might be interested in is the speed of the system. Compared to most systems around, ours is very fast. You can see just scrolling down the page how quick it is. Um, filtering items, again, very, very fast. You can click through the different categories. It's built from the ground up to be extremely fast in the way it works. Um, that's both an architectural decision about the way it's built as well as um, just its hosting environment and so forth. So you can see that's a huge advantage to you, just getting customers quickly to what they want. Um, a few minor notes about that. We really achieve this with three main things. One is just the, the back-end database behind it. We work with NoSQL technologies instead of relational databases. It makes it far faster. Um, this is the same technology that's basically behind Amazon, Google, LinkedIn, lots of prominent sites you may be familiar with. This lets us essentially almost infinitely scale a system from anywhere from 10 products up to 10 million without significant loss of speed or impact. Um, the second thing we do is this is built into the Amazon AWS environment, a system that's built to scale, again, virtually infinitely. Um, our system can scale up on multiple servers, it can scale in multiple uh, regions, all sorts of things like that. Um, lastly, as Steve mentioned, the system is modular. It's built from the ground up, again, to be, uh, to be plugged into multiple back-end systems, multiple front-end systems, and basically allow for a provider, what's called a provider model, where we can pull data in and push it out to different systems. Um, the next thing, the next feature you might be interested in is its filtering. Um, you can see both in categories, um, when we go into here, you can see the pricing filters, manufacturer filters, as well as these filters down the side that let you quickly drill down to the products you want. Um, that's a very significant feature for the system. It has that both in browsing and in searching. Um, so you can see here it's the exact same function throughout. Um, as far as speed, the system 
is able to basically add products very quickly, you know, do all these sorts of things. You can basically walk through the system. You can see products adding up here as we go. Um, you know, those are just very important, you know, speed and functionality features. Once you actually go to the system, you can see here, once we check out, this is really where the system um, is integrated with GP, where it's passing orders back. So you can see that in the system back here, the ship to and bill to addresses, these are actually synced from GP accounts. Um, same thing with the shipping methods and payment terms and all these things that are allowable from GP. You can put notes into here, um, PO numbers, and then once essentially the order goes through, um, this immediately shows up in GP. So if we go back to GP itself, we go back to the sales um, transaction window, we can look down and you can see those orders that we just made are here. Um, you can see those are the items that just came through. Um, as far as items that it syncs, it syncs four main classes of things. We sync user accounts from GP to the system up here. So again, all those are set up back in GP. Um, we sync pricing. We can sync both simple and extended pricing modules um, from GP. Um, we also sync products. As you may be aware, GP itself does not support um, heavily detailed product information. So that is all stored in our, in our system. Um, that's basically what you see here, all the actual the rich product descriptions like these items higher, these items here, technical specifications, pictures, all that is stored in our system and then synced back to the, um, the inventory item in GP. We also lastly sync orders and other order information back and forth. Um, we also have a My Account section on the site that features account information. Um, let me see if I can show you that real quick. So in the account home here, you can see that we have um, order history synced across we pull all this data again from GP in real time as these orders are made so your customers can check their accounts quickly and easily. And that is pretty much it. So Steve, did you want to do any follow up to that? In terms of next steps to understand more about how this can um, help you sell more and decrease overhead, talk to BCS. Uh, we work with partners to deliver our product and we can always schedule a second demo that deals more specifically with your company and with your needs. Um, and we can have uh, an engineer on board with that call as well to answer any questions around that. And that's it.